A few Encore customers are finding out it will be expensive to keep their old meters instead of getting a smart meter. Fox 4's Calvert Collins joining us now live with more. Calvert. Well, Heather, those older meters are oddly more expensive, according to Encore, because they still require a human, not a computer, to read them. And that manpower means a higher monthly bill, which one customer says she just can't afford. You know, I struggle. No two ways about it. It was an unexpected delivery to Connie Talk's home in Hearst. A letter from Encore telling her she will have to pay a one-time fee of $167 to keep her analog meter, plus an extra $26.69 per month. You know, that's another an extra 27 bucks a month, you know, that when you don't make it, <laughs> and you're struggling as is, that's hard. She survives on a fixed income with Social Security disability and part of her income from 30 years at Delta Airlines. I was run over by a drunk as a little girl, and next month will be 50 years that I've had to deal with it. It doesn't end. Encore began installing smart meters in 2008 and now has 3.2 million in its territory. Smart meters allow Encore to read meters remotely and fix outages quickly, and they show how much electricity a customer uses in 15-minute increments. Earlier this year, the Public Utilities Commission allowed Encore to offer options for customers without smart meters. Um, they can have an analog meter, they can have um, a digital non-communicating meter, and then they can have the advanced meter with the communications functions turned off. But Connie Talk fears enemies, upgrading to a but, smart um, meter I've will cost her more, and, and that one day she'll plug in her electric wheelchair and no charge will come on. When I'm struggling and sometimes I'm going 45 days, you know, almost 60 days to uh, pay my bill because I'm trying to seek help from a charity, they can cut you off with the flip of a switch as opposed to coming out, and that's scary. Customers sued Encore in a class action lawsuit for fraud, claiming bills spiked after smart meters were installed, but a judge threw out the case. Connie Talk says she can't pay more than her current bill and believes her power to choose has been taken away. When I'll probably have to go to the smart meter because of the cost. Now Connie Talk and the few hundred others that received those Encore letters have until September 15th to let the company know what they want to do, if trade in their old meters or get a new smart meter. If they don't decide, then Encore is going to replace the meter anyway, and there will be a monthly cost of $2.19 for that smart, smart meter, but no upfront cost, Heather. All right, Calvert Collins, live tonight. Thank you.